Russia is recruiting ethnic Germans for fighting in Ukraine. Russia has launched a propaganda campaign aimed at recruiting Russian Germans into its army. This is reported by The Telegraph. The publication refers to organizations that represent the interests of ethnic Germans in Russia. In recent months, they have begun to promote the war among their target audience, paying particular attention to attracting young people to the ranks of the army. It is noted that this fact is alarming and potentially embarrassing for Berlin, as Russia is actually using German culture against Ukraine. At the same time, about 400,000 ethnic Germans may live in the Russian Federation, who were persecuted during the USSR and are now marginalized by the Kremlin, The Telegraph said. The Telegraph has seen propaganda materials from the Russian German house in Tomsk, which urges ethnic Germans to donate to the Russian army and attend free pro-war concerts. Also, the Russian German house in Novosibirsk held summits in support of the invasion of Ukraine and young people were massively urged to enroll in the Wagner PMC. At the same time, the propaganda materials were first discovered by a community of Germans from Ukrainian Zaporizhia who called on their Russian colleagues to conduct a campaign against the invasion. The community hopes that the German government will take action against the use of its language and culture in military propaganda. In the summer of 2023, it became known that residents of Nepal who came to Russia to study were being recruited recruited for the war against Ukraine. The main argument for making such a decision was money. In December, Nepal issued an official statement calling on Moscow to stop recruiting its citizens for the war and to return the bodies of those who had already died. Five people were killed and scores injured as strong tornadoes hit Greenfield in Iowa, US on Tuesday. The Tarando in the small town of 2000 destroyed homes and businesses. Cars were crumpled. Iowa Department of Public Safety reported on Wednesday that at least 35 people were injured as a result of the tornadoes but the number of those hurt is believed to be higher. Located 90 kilometers southwest of Des Moines, much of Greenfield was destroyed. The fifth victim in the tornadoes has been identified as a 46-year-old woman whose car was blown off the road in Adams County, about 40 kilometers from Greenfield. The names and ages of the other dead in Greenfield are not being released yet, the police said. Video footage showing the devastation across Iowa depicted flattened buildings, overturned cars and broken wind turbines. One of the residents described the experience of seeing the ceiling in her home fall through. We were hollering, screaming, she said in an interview with Reuters. Illinois, Nebraska and Wisconsin were also hit by tornadoes, heavy rain and power cuts. The National Weather Service said it received 23 tornado reports Tuesday, with most in Iowa, and one each in Wisconsin and Minnesota. Tornado in Wisconsin prompted Green Bay office to dispatch a staffer Wednesday morning to survey storm damage near the village of Unity in western Marathon County. Right now we are in search of refuge. 